Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Princess Avenge Out W Happiness Ruriko Route. Huh? All eyes turn to Pantaberu. Maybe that's why he leaves all the time. He's so warm, and then he just go takes a nice cold bath. Amisan take out Panta Battery's chin. Whoa, look at those eyes. Stars. Oh, yeah, I get him shake. Panta Battery was in heaven. Setting that aside, it didn't look like anything was especially out of the ordinary about Panta Battery. Ami-san seems to have thought the same thing. Oh no! What 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 if um you know he he does he just wants to move around you know? Do you know where he went? I wonder if she's gonna ask Masaya to to uh uh stay with her overnight and stuff like that, and then everyone's gonna be very very jealous and upset because you know he did that, and uh, you know to find out where he goes, you know Pantabaru. Maybe he's going outside then. Oh, I didn't know that. I ran my finger over Panta Beru's rear paws. After giving it some thought, I realized Panta Beru had been supporting himself on his hind legs for quite some time, so he may have been stronger than he looked. Panta Beru can open windows? That's incredible! Oh. I see. Isn't that dangerous? Oh yeah, true. I see, I guess you're right. With a long face, Ruruko-san shifted her attention back to Pantaberu, who is now perched unhappily on her shoulder. Oh. But you've been calling you've been you've been calling Pantabaru a he. I'm pretty sure he does understand though. In reality, Pantabaru was a creature shrouded in mystery. Oh well, now swaying the little things was one of Rigo san's charms. Aren't there cameras around though? In the area, w wouldn't they be able to see where he goes? Hiro intervened and Rigo san nodded in response. Hi. Oh, wow, we skipped a few days. It was Friday night. I headed toward the recreation room intent on watching a movie that was playing on TV. I had a television in my room too, but if any of the other dorm residents were interested in the same film, perhaps we could all watch it together. But... I... I don't know how the ceremony or how the, uh, first, uh, judgment thing went, so I don't know if people are, you know, happy with me in this area of the building. I have no idea. Oh, Rurigo-san. 
きげんよう。Go! Good evening. Did you also come to watch Commando vs. Terminator, Ruiko san? What? Commando vs. Terminator? Is that like Robocop vs. the Terminator? The TV wasn't turned on. Come to think of it, the high class ladies of Bonson, and Rico san being one of them probably wouldn't watch an action movie. You don't know that. You know, some some girls are, you know, high I guess high class girls is what he's saying, you know, could be into some weird some weird video stuff. Shh I picked up the remote control. Yeah, what about you? Ruka san gestured to the teapot on the table. You came here just to have tea? Would you do it in your own room? Or maybe not. No, I won't be able to sleep if I do. That's black tea, right? Are you the type who can drink tea before bed and be just fine? Well, I guess the, you know, she got used to caffeine and it just doesn't affect her. Never mind. Maybe she gets some decaf, you know, or, or non uh, caffeinated tea. Hmm, then why are you drinking it this late at night? Oh. Why? That sort of behavior wasn't unusual for ordinary students, but this was Bonson we were talking about. Night hours were few and far between here, so while there was no set time for light out, I had never seen anyone oversleep. Heck, I was probably the only one on campus who would ever oversleep and be late. No way a pure proper lady like Rurigo san would ever do something like that. Well, again, you don't know that. He had an open hearted, friendly personality, so it was easy for it to slip your mind, but Ryuko san was the only daughter of the Kamayagi family group. Whenever she went outside, she always had a bodyguard with her. And not long ago, her parents had arranged for Ryuko san to be married. What? Where did this. What? Did I miss something? Why do you need to stay up late? I was far more interested in this than the movie and turned my attention to Ruriko san. That's still going on. Ruriko san nodded. Johnny Pat pounded battery on his head with my fingertip. Hey, where in the world do you keep running off to? And the battery just wags his tail and tilted his head at me. Maybe he really had gotten himself a girlfriend. If so, it kind of made me feel like he'd be me to the punch. Oh, that's why you're, you know, that's why you're drinking black tea. And I'm pretty sure she wants us to stay in her room to see what he's up to. Yeah, that is the sort of impression I get from you. When you try tying Panderberu up somewhere? Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh huh, uh huh, T tell me more. Ah, uh, but, but, uh, is that related to this somehow? Ah, uh, I see. You you did mention that before, didn't you? When everyone went outside together. 
recall what happened? Don't recall what happened. Oh, I do want to recall. Yeah. We'll do that in the next episode of Princess Evangel W Happiness Rico Route. Oh, yes. All right. Her biddies are growing. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!